Hi, I'm Scott Wentworth, the founder and head writer of Wentworth Financial Communications. I recently moderated a panel about sustainable and responsible investing and some of the challenges that it creates from a marketing perspective for asset managers. I asked the panel if there has been a shift in how the conversations about risk and return go and investors' expectations around those things when it comes to social or responsible or uh, sustainable investing. And Blake Pontius, who is a global equity portfolio specialist at William Blair, had a very interesting answer. He talked about how, in the past, people viewed ESG factors as more of a risk control mechanism. Whereas now, there's more of an understanding that there's a lot of growth opportunities related to sustainability themes, and so they're looking for companies that can capitalize on that. Here are some of the highlights of what Blake had to say. I think in general, I'm sensing a shift from sort of the uh, risk. It's only about risk control and kind of avoiding blow-ups, which I think that argument resonates, tends to re resonate more broadly because we have all these examples of, you know, companies getting into scan, you know, you know, um, fudging accounts, you know, at Toshiba or, you know, spilling oil into the Gulf and then the share price is, is punished or, um, you know, Volkswagen with their emission scandal. And so that has always tended to resonate. And I think what we're seeing now, what I'm seeing is, more acceptance of risk-adjusted returns and opportunities that are linked to, you know, companies um, and making investments in, um, you know, material, environmental, and social factors. So not just not just about corporate governance and kind of avoiding blowups, but there's sort of a, I think a general, a, 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 some increase in sort of acceptance of. You know, there are these sort of environmental and social almost themes that are underpinning kind of growth opportunities for, for companies. You know, whether you're Adidas and you're making, you know, eco-friendly sneakers out of ocean, pla you know, ocean plastic or something, you're charging $200 a pair. Well, our consumer analyst is probably going to be kind of interested in that as she's looking at, you know, the margin profile at Adidas relative to Nike and and so I'm seeing more of those sort of um, positive or return kind of generating opportunities at the stock level, which is kind of interesting. And I think just more broadly, there's a shift in mentality from it's all about, you know, negatives and avoiding, you know, tobacco or firearms or, um, you know, whatever your, whatever your particular sensitivity is, increasingly fossil fuel and more about how are you managing risks, but, but through the lens of, you know, if, are, you, are you an oil company that's transitioning from hydrocarbons to renewables? 